Hi friends, welcome back. So today let's talk UX research. What is UX research? What are the steps to conducting effective user research? And what UX research methods to adopt for each project? Today I'm going to give you definite answers to all those questions. So let's just get into it, okay? So there's something I need you to understand. The type of data or information you should be looking to collect from your research should depend on the users, their needs, and the project goals. What do your users need? What are your users struggling with? How can you help your users? These are some questions to guide your research process, okay? Okay, so what are the steps to conducting effective UX research? First, you need to understand the stage in the UX design process you are in. So basically, there's the discovery phase, the definition phase, the development, and the delivery phase. Now, UX research methods differ for each stage in the design process. This means you should choose a research method that fits the UX design stage you are in for your project, okay? In the discovery and early stages of a project, for example, you might want to conduct some quantitative research, start with surveys and questionnaires, online polls to get large data sets that you can analyze and draw patterns from. Then in the definition phase, you might want to conduct some user interviews, contextual inquiries to gather more detailed and specific information on the identified problems or patterns. Then as you progress into developing wireframes, you might want to consider some sort of usability test, A-B test with some real or intended users, okay? Okay, so let's talk about common UX research methods. This visual from Maze explains this perfectly. So basically we have two research categories, quantitative and qualitative research methods, and these can be grouped based on what users say and what they do, which is often contradicting, believe me. Okay, so quantitative research is best for collecting numerical data and answers how many, how much, and what questions. How much time do users spend on a task? What is the tax completion rate for our users? How many users visited a page on our website? How many clicks and misclicks on a button? What percentage of visitors completed a form? These are some examples of the kind of data that could be collected through quantitative research. So common quantitative research methods include surveys and questionnaires, online polling, A-B testing, analytics, heat maps, and more. Qualitative research, on the other hand, helps you understand the why or the deep meanings and intentions behind user behavior. If your focus is to get more details on individual user experiences or understand user emotions, motivations, then qualitative research is the way to go, okay? So common qualitative research methods include one-on-one -on -one user interviews, usability testing, contextual inquiries, card sorting, case study research, and so many more, okay? I have um, a separate video where I go into details on how to conduct great user interviews and best practices you can adopt. I'll include a link in the description, okay? Another common question is, what type of research should I adopt for my project? Well, to get the best results, your research really needs to be a combination of both qualitative and quantitative methods. And like we discussed in the beginning, it also really depends on your deliverables. Like, what are you really trying to achieve? What kind of data or insights are you looking to uncover? But at the end of the day, guys, Please make it a habit to always seek some valid data and do some research before you go into any form of designs and I promise you will create better products for your users, okay? So, so I'll include a, a PDF of the key points we just discussed in the description, okay? And you can grab that for free, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. And please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications 
so I can bring you amazing content every single week, okay? Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,